Día de los Muertos is without a doubt one of the most iconic Mexican celebrations. Celebrated in the beginning of November, Día de los Muertos has transcended borders and nowadays is celebrated in many countries of Latin America and is considered by UNESCO as cultural heritage of humanity. In this short video, we will try to explain and honor this great and beautiful tradition. Death in the times of the great Mesoamerican civilizations. For the splendid original civilizations of America, death was a matter for celebration, not mourning. Death was a stage of existence, something to venerate, a door to other worlds and planes. It is known that from Teotihuacans, Mayans, Mexicans, the concept of death as a natural force of the universe was such a serious matter that it was one of the main compasses of the decisions and rituals of these amazing civilizations, of most Mesoamerican civilizations. Las Guerras Floridas, for example, a shocking but still incredible way of handling war was a cornerstone of the political and let's call diplomatic ways of the Mesoamerican. The Guerras Floridas was a very interesting way of having war. The Mesoamerican understood war as inevitable. They knew it was a cruel ritual of the human species. A very rational one. They knew they couldn't escape it, so they decided to embrace it in the most rational way as possible. Yes, rational. You see, the Mesoamerican believed that death of the masses was a necessity for the universe. It produced the energy of the gods, the humanized manifestations of the universe, needed to exist and stay calm. A great way to achieve the death of hundreds or thousands, other than diseases, was war. But the Mesoamericans, in a way, disliked the destruction war brought to their cities, to their civilizations. So they came to an agreement of practicing the Guerras Floridas, which consisted of battles where very small amount of people died, because the majority were captured to be then sacrificed in a ritualistic way. The Mesoamericans believed they couldn't escape war, just like they couldn't escape death. But they believed that at least they could have a saying on the way they had to deal with war and death. This example of the Guerras Floridas gives us a very clear picture of how the Mesoamericans, the ancestors of the most modern Mexicans and Latin Americans, viewed death and the universe. Death and the dead ones were so important in the lives of the living Mesoamericans that whole months were dedicated to the celebration of them and it. The Mexicans, for example, celebrated their dead ones during the whole month of August. They will do dances, ceremonies, sacrifices, and other things to commemorate the death and death itself. Because for them, death was something to respect, fear, and venerate. Death and the Colonizers It can be read in the journals of many colonizers, journals that now are books, that the European colonizers saw with fear the ways of the Mesoamericans dealt with death. For the Mesoamericans, their own ways were the most balanced way to cope with brutality of the laws of the universe. But for the European colonizers, these ways were a manifestation of the devil. As the colonization unfolded, the religious forces of the invaders used their own techniques to bring their ways to the minds and hearts of the Mesoamericans. They adapted their traditions to the ways of the original inhabitants of the American continent, so these will be more open to accept them and take them as their own, thus becoming Christians and part of the Western world. So it was born, among many other celebrations, Dia de los Muertos, because we must recognize that our celebration of Day of the Dead in the present is a product of two cultures, the Mesoamerican and the Christian European culture. Dia de los Muertos is celebrated on the 1st and 2nd of November because these days are the days of the All Saints of the Catholic Church. 
So, in some way of a symbolic truce, the colonizers accepted the ways of the original Americans, allowing them to continue their veneration of the dead and at the same time celebrate one of their traditional holidays. The Ways of the Dia de los Muertos in the Present During Dia de los Muertos, Mexicans and Latino Americans go to their cemeteries, they clean their ancestors' tombs, light candles for them, bring them some pasuchil flowers, and spend the morning or the afternoon with reminiscing their lives together. Dia de los Muertos is known for its altars, where food and pictures, or some kind of symbolic object that represents a dead person, are set in a beautiful and decorative fashion with the purpose of working as a portal to help the souls of the dead to come to the realm of the living and spend the days of celebration with their loved ones who still exist in this world. Calaveras de Azúcar, Sugar Skulls, and Pan de Muertos are part of the culinary traditions of Dia de los Muertos. Calaveras are part of the artistic, literary manifestation of this tradition. They are poems with a humorous touch that are dedicated to a living close person or public figure where its death is described through its sentences. To any person outside the Mexican culture, this will seem like a very evil joke to hear a poem where his death is described in a humorous fashion. But it only shows how that the view of death, so representative of the ancient Mesoamericans, is still very present in the Mexican culture, where death is seen as a blessing, as something to celebrate, as a stage of life, a door to a new adventure. We recommend you to watch the video about the Mictlan so you may get a graded picture of the cosmology of the ancient Mexicans regarding death. Hope this video has been of your liking. Let us know with a like, dislike, or a comment. And remember to subscribe if you want to continue to learn about this kind of subjects. Let us know what you would like to hear about next time. Timoitase. Until next time.